What's up everyone? It's your boy High Pod News Hero coming back at you with another Elder Ring video. This one will be short, sweet, and straight to the point. Now without further ado, let me hop into this. Now today I'm going to be showing you the Bloodhound Step. It is an action war skill that you can acquire pretty early on if you can, um, you know, get up, get to where it, it's located. But here it is, the Bloodhound Step right there. Um, I have flame art mixed in with it. All right, let me get straight to the point with this. Let me go down here and show you guys how quick I can move around this guy. And with this skill, you don't even have to take a hit. You can literally dodge and move, bob and weave all you want. You don't have to take a hit at all. You just have to make sure you have the FP for it. Currently, it takes five FP to activate this skill, so you're not using that much at all. So let me show you what to do how it looks simple like that like you're teleporting or dashing going invisible for a short period of time look at that it is legit it's a legit skill probably my favorite skill besides the lightning slash attack but this is legit it is legit i swear it is but uh let's see uh i will show you guys where to find this skill so first if you can't make it if you haven't came over here to kaylee you probably need to there's some decent skills over here that you can find um they're pretty much op um but first if you haven't made your way over here to the Bestial Sanctum. There's an easy way to get teleported. You have to make your way to the Third Church of America. So we're right here at Saints Bridge. You just come your way down, follow this way, and just pretty much there's a little hill or mountain right there. You can just jump down and you'll be right there at the Third Church of America. Um, at Third Church of America, there's going to be a portal there and it will take you straight to the bestial sanctum. I'll show you how the fast way to get there. So third church America, we're going to go through this little, little cut in the wall right here. We're going to jump down. We're going to take this portal. We're going to travel to another location, which is the bestial sanctum. We're gonna go there, and I'm gonna from that point. I'm gonna show you where to go to find this bloodhound step. So if you haven't came in here, open this up. You get a beast eye from that guy. It really, it's a, uh, it's a charm or uh, it's an equipment charm. Pretty much, it's an equipment charm. Um, but first, you gotta activate that uh, great sight. And make your way past this guy. Do not fight him. I am not getting clapped today, so I'm not even going to worry about him. Although I probably could take him on, but I'm going to show you guys this real quick. So we're going to go down here to the Great Bridge site. And I'm going to show you how to get to Lens Rise. You can see Lens Rise from right here already. It's a big pointy tower up there. And that dragon, you don't even need to mess with him. You're gonna get clapped. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fast travel over here to Lens Rise. There's an easy way to come through here. You just, from the Great Bridge, just go all the way around, follow that little trail, and we'll lead you right to it. But I'm gonna go ahead and fast travel over there. And over here, there will be uh, one of those little cavalry knights. He'll be, uh, riding this little horse around this little area in this vicinity over here. So you have to fight him. And once you defeat him, he will drop the Bloodhound, Bloodhound Step. That skill. You very much need that skill if you want to survive in this game. So, guys, without further ado, I'm Hot Pot News Hero, signing out.